I hope you all enjoyed uh, the morning sessions, which were uh, amazing. And uh, as I just told one of uh, this morning's presenters, were lighting up social media, lighting up Twitter, right? Um, which is great. Hope you all had a delicious lunch and are now looking forward to today's afternoon sessions. I also hope that uh, many of you had the opportunity to watch the Queer Newark oral history project video that was playing during the break. I think there were several uh, loops of it. If you would like to share any information, if you would like more information, let me first of all say, if you'd like more information about the Queer Newark Oral History Project, or would like to share your own history, uh, or have any flyers or artifacts, right? If you're a Newark person and you know that you have just all kinds of things, you know, maybe stored away in drawers and things that you would like to share with the Queer Newark Queer Newark Oral History Project, you can find their confirmation, their contact information in the MTW, MTW program. And I think it's on the next to last page. Okay. Before we hear this afternoon's speakers and performers, we'll have the presentation of the Mildred Barry Garvin Prize. Each year, the New Jersey Historical Commission awards a prize to a Newark, New Jersey teacher, guidance counselor, or school librarian for outstanding teaching of Black American history at any grade level between kindergarten and high school. The award is designated the Mildred Barry Garvin Prize in honor of the educator and legislator who served Essex County's 27th District in the State Assembly through much of the 1980s and as a research specialist and director of field experience at the School of Public Affairs and Administration here at Rutgers Newark. The Historical Commission is housed within the New Jersey Department of State, whose mission includes the development of cultural and historical programs as a means of enhancing the quality of life and community in our state. We know how important cultural programs and cultural life uh, are. The Commission and the Department of State have been our partners in bringing this lecture series to you since its very exception. In recognition of this long-standing support and friendship and to present the, this year's Garvin Prize, please welcome Dr. Larry Green, University Professor of History at Seton Hall and a member of the New Jersey Historical Commission. Glad to be here and what a wonderful morning that we have had great and informative speakers, and a beautiful, beautiful musical rendition of Lift Every Voice and Sing, and a wonderful, wonderful rendition of Aretha's song. I would like to present the award, the Mildred Barry Garvin Award. I should point out, I remember Mildred Barry Garvin because she was on the city council of my hometown of East Orange. So I just wanted to give a little plug for East Orange. <laughs> uh, our winner of the Mildred Barry Garvin uh, Prize is Mrs. Jocelyn Burgess, who is a high school, who has been a high school teacher in Jersey City. She has been a curriculum and assessment writer for 10 years. Um, she teaches social studies at William L. Dickinson High School, and, which serves a very diverse uh, community in the city. And recently she served on the committee to write a new African American studies curriculum, uh, which I'll ask her to talk briefly about. Uh, she has also been involved in a multitude of current open source resources from the teaching tolerance uh, facing History and Ourselves, the Amistad Commission, the Gilder Learman Institute, as well as uh, a number of other organizations and institutions. Through her writings, Mrs. Burgess infuses African American history into the framework of American history, leaving students with a fully inclusive understanding of the African American experience. And as we know from recent years, not everyone is informed of the African-American experience. And so we are really grateful for those that have labored in the vineyards and the trenches to really provide an inclusive uh, experience of the American story. So I would like to introduce Ms. Jocelyn Burgess. 
Would you please come up? I'd like to read the proclamation here or award. The New Jersey Historical Commission proudly presents the Mildred Barry Garvin Prize to Jocelyn Burgess, social studies teacher, Jersey City Public Schools. It's presented at the 39th Annual Marion Thompson Wright Lecture Series. Thank you so much. I am very humbled and honored to receive such an amazing award. I would like to thank my supervisor, Ms. Dos Santos, for nominating me and the Historical Commission for allowing for me to receive the award. And I would love to thank my students, my family, and my friends for all giving me the support while writing this curriculum. And the curriculum focuses on the very beginning, the foundations of African American history, where we began at in Africa. And it goes into the triangle slave trade. And then it brings us back into present day America. And then it focuses on when African Americans began to receive their rights after the Civil War. And it goes through reconstruction and we end the curriculum where it focuses on modern day movement and African American rights today. And one of the major parts within the curriculum, it allows for the students to collaborate and come together and create a newspaper about reconstruction and the experiences of African Americans after the end of the Civil War and have them determine were their rights really given to them? Were they truly free? Where did they have to stand? What did they have left to gain after their freedom? And so far I have been working with a lot of my students with the curriculum and they have been enjoying the idea of collaborating together, digging deeper and looking at what the real true facts are. Thank you and have a good day everyone.